Now before I start my video guys, I have got some giveaways that are being run currently on the channel. These are for the Limit Break 3 videos and I've been asked when these are going to end. It's going to be the 23rd of December is when I'm going to draw all of these live on stream. I'm going to do it exactly the same way I've done it in the past. We'll draw a winner from the video and then we'll have a backup winner for each of these giveaways on the live stream. So for instance, if I draw someone and they're not on the live stream, they are the winner. They have like a week to contact me. If they do not contact me, and I will announce this on my Discord, I'll announce it in the intro of another video, you know, you can check it on the stream itself. Then the person who is on the stream, who I know knows they've won, will be the winner. This has worked very well in the past. So if you want to enter those giveaways, make sure you go on to the Limit Break 3 videos and enter the entry phrase in the comments. Do check out the Limit Break 3 upgrades as well if you want to know what is coming with the update as it is going into beta right now. And these Limit Break 3s are going to be live in game real soon. Now on to this video guys. Hello survivors and welcome to another Walking Dead Road to Survival video and in this video we're going to be going over a mini event that is going to be part of the main Christmas event like in my Jingle Bells video where I said how to spend your Jingle Bells if you wanted to save for some of the future mini events that will probably pop up during the event. This is one of those events. This one is going to be able to get your hands on a lot of winter tokens by the looks of things. And that will enable you to get Gregory Grouch, or at least have a better chance to get Gregory Grouch. Let's have a little read through it. And it says, it's the Road to Christmas, Chapter 2. It is called Hide and Seek. We can see the event info is as follows. It starts on the 13th of December and ends on the 4th of January. So it isn't so many. It's actually going to last quite a few weeks. So that's actually pretty decent I guess it's like just over or just under three weeks it's just under three weeks or it might be exactly three weeks to get this done and it's just going to be another option of what you can spend your jingle bells on and as we read through it Christmas Carol has found out that Gregory Grouch is trying to steal Christmas and she's on the hunt to recover all the gifts use jingle bells to run at the hide and seek roadmap to collect winter tokens to try to find Gregory Grouch in the Christmas stash the more progress you've made on upgrading Christmas Carol, the more winter tokens you can get from the Hide and Seek roadmap, including the fifth and final copy of Gregory Grouch. Get ready to raid for Chapter 3, coming soon. Please note, Chapter 3 will not contain a roadmap that will require Jingle Bells. So it does look like that it is going to be a raid thing for Chapter 3, because get ready to raid. Players can choose to use Jingle Bells on the Christmas map to rerun Act 3, which drop walker ornaments to work through the christmas challenge missions or use jingle bells to rerun act six of hide and seek roadmap which will drop winter tokens to pull on the christmas stash don't forget chapter four will feature another roadmap that will require jingle bells to use this energy and reward a special exclusive five star weapon so it's probably going to be a little bit like the skeleton steve roadmap hopefully not as ridiculous as that hopefully not as ridiculous as the one for the herschel weapon you know weapon that was pretty much picked up by like one percent of the community just because it was extremely unrealistic and not even that great and we'll just go over the hide and seek roadmap and you can see it is going to be using the jingle bells as the energy so if you have held on to your jingle bells to get more winter tokens then then happy days uh you are going to be able to do five stages for act one and the completion bonus is going to give you five bonus winter tokens. It does cost 10 winter tokens to do one open on the stash for Gregory. And completing an entire act will get you enough for one pull. If we scroll down, we can see the same sort of deal again. Act two is going to be one winter token as a reward per stage. And five for the completion bonus. Again, it's eight jingle bells per stage. But then it does increase in the requirements. You will be required to have christmas carol to grade four limit break three already or, or grade four to limit break three and you will also have to spend a little bit more jingle bells 10 jingle bells per stage you will only be rewarded the same amount though one winter token per stage and then five for completion and as you scroll down again this time it is grade five to limit break three and now it boosts it up to two winter tokens per stage and then 10 for completions for 50 jingle bells Act 5, 3 winter tokens per stage, and then you are going to get 15 for completion, so that's going to be um, another 3 pulls here, and then if we can continue scrolling down, we get 4 winter tokens at Act 6, it's going to increase to 45, 70, 
130 Jingle Bells, and that is the last of the roadmap. But you will also, com if you complete the entire roadmap, get the fifth elusive Gold Mythic Gregory Grouch. If you look in the stash, there is only four copies available. As you can see in the stash right here, if I go to the top where it has the information button under the word Christmas stash, you can see for each of the first three stashes, the actual character of Gregory Grouch is inside the stash. And you could get him on your first pull, you could get him on your 25th pull. And then the last one on stash four, you'll have to complete the entire stash to be able to get Gregory Grouch here. But the fifth one for Limit Break 3, effectively, if you were to complete all of this, is in that roadmap but i assume if you're going for gregory grouch you're most likely going to do that roadmap so you'll get that grout gregory grouch no matter what it's the last one that's going to be the, obviously the most difficult because you have to do 100 opens which is a lot of winter tokens so that's it for the information when it comes to the hide and seek event it has been confirmed that there is going to be one more little mini event during the christmas event that is going to require Jingle Bells. So if you do not want to get your hands on Gregory Grouch, then you might want to save off on your Jingle Bells. But we don't know the requirements for that event. So it could potentially require you to have Gregory to a certain tier. I would just hold on to your Jingle Bells if you are not someone who just wants to go instantly in for, for Gregory here. There's no rush. This one does last quite a long time and just uh, hold off until you're 100% certain where you want to go. It does seem like one of the other events is going to require more raid cans. Hopefully it's not ridiculous, <laughs> because obviously we can't skip raids in any way. There's no way to uh, make raids happen. We have to manually do them. And if it's thousands of raids again, like it was for the Negan event, I'm pretty sure I raided like over a thousand times in that event. It felt like, it felt like 10,000 raids. It was ridiculous i uh we'll have to see um i don't even know if my raid cans have even recovered at this point we'll, we'll have to see uh how the resources are going to be like um do give me your thoughts though on this little event here is it something that you're going to go in for are you looking to get your hands on gregory grouch it does seem like this is the best way to do it because you are going to be able to get an actual copy of him from completing the entire roadmap which is actually not too bad at all me personally i'm in no rush on this event I want Carol, but I'm not in no, any rush to, to make any quick decisions. I'm going to wait out and just see what else pops up. But do leave your thoughts in the comments down below, guys. That is in my video. I want to thank you very much for tuning in. And as always, keep on surviving, guys. Keep on surviving.